Hello, I'm Kristen Kostelnik, and I'm a full-time professor here in the Environmental Science Program. I teach many of the upper level undergraduate courses, so hopefully that means we'll see each other at some point during your academic journey. Today, I wanted to share with you a brief overview of one of the required core courses for all environmental science majors, which is EVSP 413, Environmental and Ecosystems Management. This is a course I teach almost every semester and I really enjoy it and students enjoy it because it's an applied course that brings together lots of topics that are touched on in other courses and tries to synthesize it in such a way that you appreciate the beauty and the complexity of environmental management. In this course, we'll touch on topics as wide ranging as conservation, remote sensing, pollution mitigation, emergency management, water, soil, and other complex issues of habitat, biodiversity, carrying capacity, and environmental impact statement analysis. It's our goal that you would leave this course with a grasp on basic principles, both historic and contemporary, um, relative to environmental and ecosystems management theory and practice, and be able to place those in the context of your individual philosophy of environmental and ecosystems management. This is a course that you generally don't take until toward the end of your program. After the bulk of your general education courses, as well as some of the required courses within your concentration and within the major. So things like 310 water science or EVSP 311 soil science. This particular course is often taken concurrently or back to back with EVSP 411, environmental policy regulation and law. And these two courses are often the last couple that you take before you embark on your degrees capstone course, EVSP 498 Senior Seminar. 